That's with anything, church. That's with alcohol. That's with cigarettes. That's with pornography. That's with lust. That's with guilt. That's with shame. That's with jealousy. It ain't just one thing. It ain't just one thing. God, oh my God, he'll put a no in you. And every time you say no, every time you say no, he'll keep you from being sabotaged. Joseph was in Potiphar's house. Potiphar put Joseph over everything to govern his whole household. He withheld nothing from him. And while he was working, Potiphar's wife, mm, mm, you can imagine him telling the servants, go and cook the breakfast. Mm. I didn't notice that about him before when he first got here. Ooh, look at them muscles. I didn't know Joseph was built like that. It's in scripture. The Bible said she noticed him. Said he was built well and handsome. And she went to Joseph and told Joseph, Lie with me. Joseph, lie with me. But let me tell you something. That wasn't just one instance. When he said, when she said, lie with me, Joseph, that wasn't one instance. Guess what? You know what he said? He said, no. He said, listen, the master have, have, have given me everything. He have not withheld nothing from me but you, his wife. And it would be evil for me to do such a thing because you are his wife. And he said, no. And could, could you imagine him go back to his room and say, oh, Lord, that felt good. Cool. I said, no. Now, he was a young man. Vigorous in his right mind. It wasn't so much that his hands was blessed. It was that he had the fear of God. It wasn't about the blessing of the hands. It was the fear of God. You see the fear of God in the person that is aligned with, with the restraining power of the Holy Ghost. The, the fear of God and the restraining power of the Holy Ghost team up with each other and give you a certain strength and, and, and put a no in you. The, look at somebody say, the power of the no. That is the power of the no. Don't you know the scripture says that she, listen, it was like torment every day. Every day when all, the, while he was working, while he was governing the house. Come here, Joseph. Tuesday, come here, Joseph. Wednesday, come, come on over here, Joseph. You can imagine her walking to the room talking. Come on. Every day, no, 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 no. No, no, all throughout the house. Come here, David. No. The Bible said she spoke that to him. The scripture says day after day. Oh, God, I put a no in you. That was the, you see, that is a shadow in the Old Testament going into the New Testament of the ministry of the Holy Ghost that put a no in you. And every day said, no, no. Now I need you to understand what happens every time you say no to the enemy. The Bible says that the Bible says when the enemy come at you, he said, resist him. And he'll flee from you. Every time he flee from, every time she would flee, and he would go to his room. He said, oh, that felt good. Oh, when I said no, that felt good. Every time he was like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, God, you're so good. That felt good, God. Oh, I feel. It, you can imagine he talking like the old folks. Oh, I feel my help coming. Go back to the room. I feel my help coming. Oh, Lord. And then, and then when everybody left the house, See, the restraining 
power of the Holy Ghost is not just for one time. When the restraining power of the Holy Ghost is, is operating in your life, he put that no in you, you get stronger and stronger and stronger saying the no. Every time you say no, it feels good that it's saying no. Every victory, oh, every victory you win, every victory, every battle, but then when the war is about to be over, and the last battle, what some people say, the last of the Mohicans. When everybody left the house, the Bible said the men servant, the maid servant left the house, all of them left the house, and him and her there alone. She goes on to him. Come here, baby. But imagine I'm getting ready to go into to everybody's left, and I'm getting ready to go fix me a bologna sandwich in part of his house. And I'm walking by the bologna sandwich and just grab me, just grab me like you, like you want to tell me. Come on now. You, you know how to do it. <laughs> trying to act like she don't know. You know how to do it. No. 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 No, 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 oh, so you miss your shot moment right there, because that's, no, see, God will put a no in you when it comes to the talking, verbal, verbal on the job, verbal at the work office, verbal at the school, oh my God, verbal, but when they grab a hold, tell you what you're going to do. See, there has been a build up on the no. There's been a build up on the strength. There's been a build up of strength that the Holy Spirit has given you. The restraining power of the Holy Ghost to where finally when they grab you, you're able to pull away. <laughs> 